American drag is polished and professional, and down under drag is downright dirty, and I love that. My name is Beverly Kills. I am 21 years old, born and raised on the beaches of the Gold Coast. So I'm like a little beach rat at heart, but I had to move to Brisbane for the drag. It's a big city and little queer kids can't resist a big city storyline. First and foremost, Beverly Kills is a performer. She can do anything on stage perfectly. Watch me fall, I'm gonna trip, I'm gonna be a disaster. The Beverly Kills show is all about glamour and grunge and walking the line right between the two of them. So I like to, you know, make the audience feel excited with like a big, loud punk rock show, but I'll still entice them with that like feminine, sexual energy. I don't think it's any shock that someone like this was a bit of an outcast in school. And my love for drag started as an audience member. I watched RuPaul's Drag Race when I was, you know, 14, 15 in high school. And then I eventually was old enough to go to the clubs and I saw a local drag live and I went, Oh my God. The great thing about the queer community, especially in Australia, is that we all build each other up and we're one big giant family. And I'm very grateful to be a part of that family. To be honest, drag is sort of my own medicine. Without drag, I wouldn't be able to cope. And it makes me feel confident and passionate. The biggest misconception about me is that for a 21 year old, I'm not experienced or I might not know about myself or the drag that I want to do, but that is not the case. Beverly Kills is sort of like a viper in the grass. She's slow, she's silent, she's calculated, she's ready. But when she knows it's go time, she will pounce and she will attack. And that's what I'm here to do. Bring it on. <laughs>